So, with the holiday season having been and gone, I sometimes like to think of the games that I used to play when I was a child. There are always the family classics such as Monopoly, Cluedo and Pictionary, and there was also that Christmas where the Wii was the biggest selling console, but let's be honest, for some of us gaming on a console wasn't something we did as a family. There were a lot of weird book based games that you could also play, sometimes on your own and sometimes with others. They were the things like those weird D&D adventure games and hidden picture books, with the most popular being Where's Wally. Okay, so maybe that might not be correct in my assumption of it, but you know, I was never allowed to play with popular things as a kid and I was never allowed those books, so I am assuming that they were indeed popular. Also, I would like to say before we go anywhere, this drawing took way too long. Even with copying and pasting, I'm pretty sure I messed something up, so you know, I tried. Those little minifigures were a pain in the backside, and so instead of critiquing my artwork, I am going to get straight into this review. You've probably guessed by the start of this video that this is indeed a hidden object game. It's kind of like Where's Wally, but there's a lot more than just one person to find at any given moment. Sometimes you even have to find posters hidden in the background. It's super fun, like really super fun. I spent more time on this game than I probably should have instead of writing this review. Don't tell the guys. And I'm kind of not sorry about that. This was such a good game. In fact, I I recommend that you go and play it right now. It's so good I wasted four hours of my life in one sitting on this game. You know, even though you, if you've enjoyed yourself it's not really wasted, but still, right, anyway, that's it. That's the end of the review. Go get the game, go and play it, it's amazing. Okay, fine, let's do it properly. Ugh. So you are playing as an alien. Yeah, I know, weird, right? You are an alien watching a TV show. A new show. Well, a show of some description. There is a Bear Grylls kind of alien that wants to take his camera crew on a trip to Earth, while you will have to find different objects on each level to help him finish the episode, which builds a longer story. So I'm not going to tell you too much, but I will say that the little skits at the beginning and the end of every level were really fun to watch. And some of the characters are just hilarious. There's a little worm guy that turns into a T-Rex and who then gets dressed up in a ball gown um, and other outfits which was really fun and there's this little splodge in a flower pot who is in essence Eeyore and I absolutely love him. But anyway, this storyline and premise really sets up why you are in different places at each time and each place has its own list of items to find. Now, as simple as this all sounds, it's actually really, really fun. I cannot stress this. You see that little sandwich on the bottom corner of your screen, but you cannot find it anywhere, or you can click around and find other objects to interact with. Open all the cupboards you can find. Open all the fridges too. Knock over those trash cans. Steal candy from a baby. I, okay, so maybe you shouldn't steal candy from a baby, but you know, you can take things out of the little, little figure's hands. And they do get really annoyed at you, which is super duper funny. The zoom feature is really useful in this game as well. Not something I would have honestly thought of when thinking of a hidden object game, but if you can't find something when you're super zoomed in, then zooming out sometimes really helps, even if it's really, really small. Can't find that item when you're zoomed out, you just get freakishly close to someone and see what they're up to and take that candy from that child. Do I have a problem? It, it's all really fun, in honestly. It, it's not at all like I enjoy throwing small aliens out off their own ship or making them crash their cars. Not at all. Unlike a book as well, these levels can be reset at any time and each time it allows you to find a new set of items. So there's a real amount of replayability if you get bored or if you just want to play a couple of levels or two to pass the time while you're waiting for your friends to come round and finish off that uh, crate of beer or that tabletop RPG that never seems to happen. Damn you d and I am not gonna lie, I did, as I've said previously, get very addicted to this game and just kept playing on and on and on. And before I knew it, I had finished the game and I had to figure out what to draw which was both really easy to pick and then really hard to actually do. I think in fact that that was the most difficult part of this review. And I will never do a hidden object drawing ever again, unless you pay me. 
because, as we all know, money speaks. Not in a good language, but it speaks. Now, I know this is really short, but I have to admit this was the most fun game that I played of 2021 that I was given to review, and it's partially because it is just so simple. It's even good for the whole family, and it can be played together if you really want. It's one of those games you think, I'm really not going to spend so much time on this. Kind of like Candy Crush. And then five hours later, you're sitting there staring off into space wondering what the hell just happened and who stole your drink. Or maybe that's just me. Still, I really do recommend you get a copy and play this game. It's going to be really fun.